And welcome back. Well, today we are cooking up a fall dish that pasta lovers will appreciate and they don't have to feel guilty because it's gluten free. It's low carb and it's sure to be a crowd favorite. That's for sure. It smells wonderful too. Chef Kate Luloff is here from Jones Dairy Farm with a recipe that is made with spaghetti squash, which is in season right now, which is great. And she's going to serve it up with bacon to Yum. make it extra yummy. Great to see you. Nice to see this you, smells fantastic. I've never had Thank spaghetti you. squash, so I'm super excited to taste really? it. Really? Uh -huh. I'm excited for you to taste it then yes. too. Yes. So there is obviously multiple kinds of squash, um, all different varieties. Yeah, uh, right over <laughs> here. So uh, you can use any, this is acorn squash? This is acorn. So okay. last year when I was here, we did the stuffed acorn squash with the sausage and yummy mm -hmm. filling. Yep. That you would cut in half and you would stuff. Okay. That's a good squash for cutting, pureeing, um, cubing. Okay. The spaghetti squash that we're using this today. Is spaghetti is, squash? Yes. Okay. That one's a spaghetti squash. The other one is a butternut, the one that looks like a bowling pin. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. a butternut. That's and the one you would cut in half, throw in the oven with some butter. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti squash sort of naturally looks like pasta noodles. It does. It's stringy. Yep. It's like that. So you didn't actually do anything to that? It's no. like that inside? Nope, exactly. So what we're going to do, I just want to make sure that this is going to come out here. I'm cooking up some bacon on the stove top. Okay. And just for sake of time, I have some onion and garlic in here on the side, but when you make it at home, you're going to make it in the same pan. Okay. okay. So you don't have to dirty two pans. So we'll take the bacon out. This is of course our Jones Dairy Farm. I use the cherry wood My for, this, fave. for this recipe. It's delicious. It's a little bit sweeter. Um, the hickory also is wonderful in here. So mm -hmm. we have both of them sitting there. They're both available. Um, at your retailer. Right here. You okay. can find this at the grocery store and it's going to be in the refrigerated section. In the section. refrigerated section. Whereas yes. some other Jones Dairy Farm products you're going to find in the freezer because mm -hmm. they have so few ingredients uh, and they're all natural that they have to be frozen so that they're fresh when they get to you. Exactly. So the bacon you're going to find in the refrigerated section by the other deli meats. And like I said, we have the hickory and the good. cherry. Mm -hmm. um, both made with an over 100 year old cure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. The hickory smoked with hickory chips, natural hickory chips. The cherry wood is smoked with cherry wood chips from Door County. So Yum. both wonderful cures, smokes. And one thing that's unique about the Jones Dairy Farm bacon is that it's dry aged. So once it's cured and smoked, it's hung in that aging room for up to three weeks and all that flavor soaks in, it okay. intensifies and it just makes this wonderful, more pure bacon flavor. Love yeah. that. So, okay. Wonderful, wonderful product. So what we are gonna do is I have one of these um, spaghetti squash. Is there a way to tell if they're ripe or are they just like if they're in store, they're ripe? You can use them pretty much anytime. So there's okay. not really any trick to picking one okay. out. Just the size that you're looking for would be what you pick. All right. Um, if it's a little tough to cut, again, just like the other ones we did last year, you can nuke them for like a minute and it'll, oh. and it'll soften them up just enough. With the you whole can thing cut in the microwave for yeah. about a minute. Yep. Okay. And then you can you slice have to wet it. it or do anything? Nope, nothing put with it. it. Just put it in and it'll soften the rind just enough that you can slice okay. through it. So Great you tip. can do it either down the middle if you prefer. I actually did it, I like to do it in rings. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I think it cooks a little more evenly. So I have two here that I have cut and all you're gonna do is cut them into about one inch thick rings. Okay. And you're just gonna scrape the inside. You can use a knife. So you get the seeds out, sort of like a pumpkin. You think of it that way, you exactly. get that inside yeah, part out. Yeah, it looks out. a lot like a pumpkin, you're right. Yep, and I actually, when I was making it last night, I cleaned the seeds off and took, uh, took those out and roasted them and they taste very, very similar to pumpkin seeds. So oh, you nice. Certainly use the seeds They're healthy too. If you too. Want to. They are, yeah. Okay, so you get that inside, the, the kind of get the guts out, yep. right? Get the guts out so it's going to be pretty clean looking like that. And that's before you cook it? Before, when, okay. that's when it's raw. Okay. So you're going to slice it, clean it, throw it in the oven for about an hour. Do you put anything on it, oil or anything? You can brush it with a little melted butter. You don't have to. Okay. It'll cook fine the way it is. Right. About an hour at what temp would you say? 375. 375. Okay. okay. Well, 45 minutes to an hour, I would check it. You don't want to overbake it. You don't want it to get mushy, but if it doesn't pull apart like it's supposed to, that means it's not quite done. Oh, okay. So after we bake them, roast oh. them. This is how it looks, magic of TV. They're oh, going to wow. come out looking looks beautifully like roasted like this, and you get that nice brown color on the top. Yeah. And then I have some that I already have shredded, but all you're going to do with this is this outside this outside peel is going to come off. You can cut okay. it off with a knife. Yeah, keep it there so we can keep the shot because I'm interested yeah. in how you do this. This is fascinating. Yeah. I've never seen this before. So you okay. just peel that off. All right. And then, I mean, you can see it's even doing it. Just oh, in, yeah. Just it's in already hands. kind of in like strings. You really don't even need the forks if you don't want to, but I usually do it with a fork, just kind of pull it oh, apart. Oh, wow. Isn't so, that cool? Yeah. I'm and once you. Just so people can see it. Yep. And once you pull, I mean, you can just see it just. Wow. It's stringy. It's perfectly um, cooked, ready to go. Look at that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. just pull it apart. That's yep. fun. Completely, you know, low carb option for pasta if you're looking for something different than pasta. Okay. I like it. So, once now, how are that, you serving it up there? 
I have, okay, so after we're done shredding it, I have the, the bacon that I cooked up on yeah. the side. We're gonna mix that in. Okay. And also for oh sake gosh, of time, so good. you're gonna <laughs> add a little bit of either, um, if the squash is still hot, a little bit of butter, otherwise okay. melted butter. For sake of time, I put a little extra butter in with the onions and garlic. Oh, yum. To that melt looks it. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we can toss it. Okay. And then we've got some Parmesan cheese. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm gonna add that in. I want that whole bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you could eat that whole bowl and it's healthy. It is, right. Seriously, I mean, you right. know? Right, that's exactly it. You get the protein from the bacon, you're gonna get, you know, the, the lack of carbs. From the oh, whole, and you use a from pink the Himalayan dish. sea salt. I just love the pink. You can okay. use whatever you too. want. I've heard it's better for you. I don't know if it is. Mm -hmm. is a little it? bit healthier. Yeah. Yep. Okay. More natural. Yep. So we're right. gonna toss. Okay, we that. gotta go ahead and taste this because we're running yes, out of time. Yes, so good. So that oh, one is go. ready to go. go. Thank you. And that's really all you do. The baking time oh is gosh. the is the main bulk of it, and then you. I just said what my mom says. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you serve it with a little bit of it looks like green onions and bacon on top, and a little shredded parm. Yep. Okay. And if you want to know where to find this, you go to jonesdairyfarm.com. There's a product locator. This is so good. You can put in your zip code. It'll tell you where to buy it. Oh my um, gosh. Or you can get it at the Jones Market, which is right in Fort Atkinson, up the street from the Fireside. Love it. Mm. So yeah, yeah the store delicious. is fantastic. Got, yes. If you've never been to the Jones Dairy Farm store, you got to <laughs> stop in. Um, but here's where you can find more: JonesDairyFarm.com. This is the savory Parmesan spaghetti squash with bacon. This is delicious. I promise you, if you try this at home, the kids will even eat this. I agree. It is so it's yummy. Good, Kate. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That crispy bacon. Oh, it's good. Yum. Jones